So what is anaphylaxis? It's an acute and severe allergic reaction. It's caused by the body's immune system having a reaction to a trigger, which the body wrongly perceives as a threat. Common triggers include nuts, shellfish, drugs and bee stings. However, there are others. The onset of anaphylaxis can be rapid, sometimes just minutes or even seconds from the person coming to contact with a trigger. Symptoms include flushing of the skin, a rash, swelling around the face, swelling of the tongue. This can lead to noisy breathing and a difficulty in breathing. Other symptoms include lightheadedness, feeling dizzy, confused, and ultimately unconsciousness. Different people experience different symptoms. So what is the treatment? Treatment is to use an auto-injector. Until recently, there were three common brands in the UK, EpiPen, Jext, and Emirate. Emirate injectors have recently been recalled, so we're gonna focus on the other two brands, EpiPen and Jext. Regardless of which brand we're using, the casualty should lie down so they can't fall down. Remove the cap and hold the auto-injector in the dagger grip. Jab the auto-injector into the thigh and hold in place. Here's another demo with a different brand. Once again, the casualty lies down. She jabs the auto-injector into the thigh at 90 degrees and holds in place. Massages the area and then calls for emergency assistance. It is important to always use the dagger grip so you do not inadvertently inject your own thumb. EpiPen tell you to hold the injector in for three seconds. Jex say 10 seconds. You don't need to remove clothing. However, you should avoid seams, buckles or zips. The auto injector will work through a wetsuit. If after five minutes, symptoms persist, you can use a second auto injector. Once an auto injector has been used, this cover will protect you from the needle. These are single use items, so must be disposed of safely. Anaphylactic sufferers should carry two auto injectors.